guys welcome to today's video today i am going to show you guys how i print bind and organize uh, our unit studies so we have not really done any unit studies yet this upcoming homeschool year but i do have some planned that i need to get Kind of bound together all the units i'm showing today i believe are from gather round um so kind of how i handle unit studies is i print and bind the teacher's guide because that's what i use so i bind it so i can just like kind of read through it and flip through it and then if my kids have like student pages so like gather around they have their individual student workbooks or like other units they have worksheets they need to do I print out each of them their own copies, um, but I don't back bind them. They just either are too rough with the binding or it doesn't flip out right or it just doesn't end up working. So what I do with theirs is I just hole three hole punch it and put it in their binder. So they each have their own binder. I hole punch it. That has what That's what has worked best for me us when it comes to unit studies so i only bind my teacher guides and then those you know i keep those i can use year after year give them away whatever the case may be and then the student pages you know i can keep some good ones that i want to keep for records but then we could just toss the rest when we're done to bind my units i use the pro click system so this is like a i don't know crazy hole puncher right it hole punches see i have to clean it out you just put the paper in, you slide it, and it puts all the holes on the edge of the paper. And then with this ProClick system, they have special um, like binding spines that just click. So you put the paper that has the holes on it, and you click and push them, and that's it. It's super easy. So this is what I use. I will link it down below. Um, I bought mine from Amazon. I will show a couple more of the accessories. So this is what the brand is, ProClick. So these are, um, they're black spines, and they hold up to 85 sheets. So there are different sizes of these. So be mindful of that when you're purchasing them so you're getting the correct size for how big of a paper packet you are um, going to need to bind. These ones are for the ProClick as well. I don't think they're the ProClick brand, but they're just colorful ones. And these are bigger than these black ones. So these probably hold up to 100 sheets if I had to guess. I'll have to look in my history. Um, but I just like these ones just to have some different colors. And they were just a little bit bigger, but they work exactly the same way. What I also do just to make it feel like a little bit more sturdy and put together is I do use a clear um, cover. So I bought these. Um, I just hole punch this as well, and it just goes on the top of the unit. And then these black backings, I do the exact same thing. Everything I'm showing, I will link down below so you know exactly everything I use. Um, there's tons of different stuff out there, especially when it comes to spines, and you have to be very careful. I heard that you could just use traditional coil spines with the ProClick, and you may be able to i was never able to get it to work and it was just more frustrating and so i just stick to the pro click spines now and they haven't steered steered me wrong yet now let's talk about paper for printing um and printing the printer i guess i have the brother ink vestment tank so it does use ink cartridges it's not like the eco tank where you fill them they are like ink cartridges that you do have to buy and replace but it lasts a really long time this printer was around 180 dollars so it is cheaper than the eco tanks um, if you print like on high quality the printing is great uh, most of the time i print on like a lower quality just because i don't want to waste ink or time because the higher quality the longer it takes but my favorite part about this printer well, I have a couple favorite things. Um, it does automatic double-sided printing. So that saves tons of paper and time. Um, and then it does have like a copier scanner. So you can like scan things to make copies. It has like the lift up copy thing. So I really like that too, to make copies of stuff for homeschool. So I really like this printer. I mean, it's not like the top of the line printer, but it's definitely like a economical 
cost effective and still really good because I have heard one of the issues with the eco tank printers is the double sided printing um, that unless you buy the one that's like hundreds over $500 I think it doesn't automatically print double sided so I love that this printer does it the ink cartridges are they work just fine for me. So that's the printer I use. And then as far as paper, um, I print like the covers of the units on like a cardstock type paper. So I just print that one page on cardstock. Um, again, it just helps the unit hold up better when I bind it. And then for the gather round student workbooks and the teacher's guide, so like the full pages, I do use, I think 24 pound paper. I'll put like a note if that's not right, but I think it's the 24 pounds. So it's, I think a couple levels up from like general multi-purpose paper. And that's just because again, it's more structured. Um, it's not as flimsy, it doesn't rip as easy. And then when my kids are doing a lot of activities and stuff and writing on it, and because I print double-sided, I don't want things to like bleed through. I want it to hold up pretty well. So I do splurge on that more expensive paper when I'm printing out units because I just like it better. So those are all the supplies I use for printing, binding, and my method behind it. Now I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how I bind a lesson. for my unit studies and it's just really worked for me for the amount of units I go through and printing needs and stuff it just made sense to invest and so overall I probably invested around $400 um, to get all the supplies and that includes the printer so that's the printer the binding machine the coils which I mean this box how many are 25 are in here I mean that's 25 units so these last quite a long time. Um, that's where I would say was my initial investment. But since then, besides buying paper every now and again, that's kind of where I'm at with my stuff. And I'm going on a year now of fully printing and binding everything at home for our homeschool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions about anything, leave those down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for being here, guys. We will chat soon. Bye.